Super Mario Bros. is one of the greatest video game franchises to have ever set foot on this planet. The great story of how a princess gets captured by an evil king that wants to marry her for power, who inevitably gets stopped by a red heroic plumber oh, yeah. boy. Nintendo has used this formula in their greatest games, like Super Mario Bros., Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and even their latest installment, Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, yes, I know, the game is like 6 years old, but until a new 3D Mario comes out, it's their latest game, okay? But what if Nintendo wants to really change the formula? What if they want to make a game that appeals more to girls as well? What if Bowser puts oh, Mario no. in prison for once and we see Princess hey, Peach try to rescue him? Of course, this would be impossible because why else hasn't Bowser... Yo! Wait, we're actually kidnapping Mario! Oh, it's really just that easy, huh? All it took was for some of his goons to steal Peach's vibrator, I mean, Peach's vibe scepter, and his plan could maybe work out for once. Oh, he also called us mushroom losers, which I find quite a good insult in a game meant for kids. Another thing they were very subtle in was how, in the one game they made that would appeal to more girls, they made Peach fight with her uncontrollable emotions all the time. Now, the game itself is a lot of fun to play through, and I would really recommend playing it yourself as well if you've never done so. Almost as much as I would recommend subscribing to the channel for more future videos. I heard if you do, you'll be glad for at least the rest of your life and you will somehow learn how to fly just like Beach. Thank you, I would really appreciate that. The first few levels are your classic first world levels and serve as really good levels to understand the game and how to effectively use all four of your emotions. Just the final level has this really annoying flower part that I really don't want to do again. Of course, this is the level I miss a toad in, but surely this little guy must be really hard to find. Oh my, wait, I don't think I did this. <sighs> I don't want to talk about this. Let's just move on to the first boss fight in the game, which is PD Piranha. How ironic. But before we can fight the boss, we have a little minigame to play. Some of these minigames are a lot of fun, while others are kept for later parts in the video. The PD Piranha fight focuses itself on the sad mechanic, just like myself on a Saturday afternoon. Peach! Pe Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, no, 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 go, 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 make it swallow, make it swallow. Hold me, what? It didn't swallow at all. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 nice, and then... Oh, wait, he can fly? Or is he trying to fly? It doesn't look like he's flying. Okay, no, he just transformed. Now, when I played this game years ago on my Nintendo DS, it was a lot easier than now on an emulator, at least the boss fight was, but we do end up beating him and going to World 2, the forest world. However, after every boss fight, we have to skip some lore about our Umbrella's boss. Yes, yes it has lore. But I don't really care and neither should you. World 2 is amazing, because it introduces some of the best features ever. A side-scroller and a wind level. And of course, I miss a toad in both these levels as well. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, yes, you do need to rescue every single toad to beat the game. You basically have to 100% the game. And if this annoys you, you could always play one of the mini games and let the rescue toads die. Ha! Ooh! You! I'm gonna try again. Ah! Ooh! ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, we can't play that mini game. Do you have something that will give me energy? Drink some gamer subs? Oh my god! You even have like a really cute girl on there as well? And it tastes amazing! What? That's right, and you too can get limited edition waifu shakers on Gamersubs Dodgy together with a wide variety of flavors like Titty Milk, Anime Girl Thigh, and their newest flavor, Sigma Brain. I'm not even making this up. This really can't get any better. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> you can get 10% off of any order if you use code I'm Porto or click in the link in the description below. This is fun. Damn! What a deal! Thanks, Peach! Now we can move on to the second boss fight minigame! Yay! With that done, uh, it's time to move on to the next boss fight. Who? Okay. That was phase one. Phase one kind of easy. Oh my god, I'm falling. I think now I actually have to like fly up. Yeah, yeah, okay, so now I actually have to fly up and damage him. So I can literally just fly up now and just stand here. 
That was so easy. Let's go, we did it! Who's dead? The Umbrella's dead, because we have another dream of us to skip. We leave the Lost Woods and go into Luigi's Mansion, which is very ironic since this world has the literal definition of the Lost Woods. We also discover that this game has vehicles for Peach's Umbrella, which is pretty damn cool. But you know what's not cool? MORE FUCKING LOST WOODS, BABY! And if you're gonna say, Hey, you stole their joke from Alpharad. Yes. Yes, I did. Anyways, there's also this blind boo level that I definitely didn't completely panic on. Ah, that was it, 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 no, you little, 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 move. Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're half a heart. We are half, half a heart. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. And then we also have this really annoying rotation level, which gave me a headache. But we finally completed the world and moved on to the bomb minigame! This is by far the worst minigame, by the way, in this entire game. So you basically have to play Cookie Clicker on the booze, but if you don't click fast enough and they reach Peach, you have to start all over. What? Dude. Dude, this is so hard! Go away, go away, go away. No! Why did that hit me? Die, 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 man! Oh, it takes so long sometimes to kill them. If that what I let one go and I die, bro. This is so unreal. Can I, I can swipe over them. Yeah, oh, okay, I don't have to tap on them. I can swipe over them. Oh my god, that makes my life so much easier. So yeah, you can apparently also swipe on them and it makes it a lot easier. But now it's time to light up some candles and make King Boo cry himself to death. Oh, he's crying. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Did I hurt your feelers? Boom, we got it. And then we jump and boom, he's dead. Oh, look, another memory for us to ignore. Thanks, Barry. We move on to the furry volcano. Uh, wait, no, sorry. The fury volcano. Oops. Oh my god, this is a lava world, huh? We're already in the lava level. This is kind of a- yo. This sounds kind of a bop, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this game has an insane OSD, and I am definitely saving so many soundtracks for later videos, by the way. But yeah, the lava world. Now, with most lava worlds, it's the lava level that really, really annoys the player. But in this game, they decided to switch it up on us and make it poison fucking gas that damages you over time. And you might think, Poro, just keep your heal active. Oh, this is really annoying. I have to constantly heal. And if I take damage, I, I, I'm out of my heal. I'ma just ignore this if possible. Oh, look! Another fucking poison level! Never did I think I was going to say this in my life, but I miss the Lost Woods levels. I was foolish to think that the poison level was annoying because the next boss fight also had... Alright, we gotta break the rocks, chat. Oh yeah, first the minigame. But this boss fight was also filled with the very poison that plagued the entire world. No! No! No, not in a boss fight. That is, that is, no, man. Nah, man. Nah, that's, that's, that is so not acceptable for a boss fight, by the way. Oh, dude, this boss fight is so stupid. Oh, fuck it. I picked the wrong emotion. No, you little bitch. He, he did a 360. I hate this boss fight with a passion. This boss fight is so stupid. You just take damage over time. Like, why? Why did they add that in this fight? That makes this boss fight so unfun, man. Oh, okay, so you can block the rocks with your fire. And then I want to see how he deals with the, with the poison. Oh, you can get rid of the poison with by spinning. So maybe it turns out that you could have just gotten rid of the poison the entire time. So 30 minutes of my life. Wasted. Mm, grandpa. Shut up, Perry. Not now. Coming to the next world, it's the famous beach episode. Here, we have some really cool spear platforming, and they made the underwater levels really cool with a submarine that shoots bubbles when you blow into the mic. Ah! Oof, 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 oof. Never mind. Just normal underwater levels for me, I guess. Time for the boss game. The mini fight. The mini game. What? And now we fight the big scary tentacle monster blooper. Ah, I see. So the tentacles are back. Tentacles are going, coming back for Peach. Alright. So now, what is phase two? What's different? He shoots more ink at me now. So he, he just comes more. Understandable. Oh, wait. He, he sleeps. Ah, that's... Oh, he healed! Oh, oh, I see. I see. Bam! Alright. 
That's another boss fight done. Yeah, this definitely looks like a normal Friday night for Peach. With my king defeated though, and yet another cutscene skipped, we head to everyone's favorite, the ice levels. These levels aren't as bad as the ice levels usually are and have some really cool new mechanics. Oh, wait, 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 can I... If I cry, does that maybe... Yeah, it does, it freezes. But don't worry, we also have more Lost Woods Pipes Edition, let's go! This minigame again, and finally it's time for the next classical Mario boss fight of every ice world ever. The four-legged ice type for... Relegator? That turns into a... Fairy? Anyways... I said anyways! The sky level, where this guy exists. Oh my god, I didn't mean with this bitch, I didn't mean Peach. I also gave you your own loser food medal. Jump, Peach! Actually, jump! There is a prize for at the end of the event. I'm, I'm like, am I special? Do I go, do I need special needs? But it also has this really cool air balloon that I sadly enough lack the brain cells for to use it correctly. It didn't allow me to go to the top. Oh, because I'm stupid. It is needless to say that even with the poison in the lava land, somehow this is the world I struggle with the most. I'm actually like special, as you can tell. Oh yeah, this sky world also has fucking water levels. Why does the sky world have water levels? But we reach the end and it is time to save Luigi. <laughs> Oh hey, look, another fucking minigame. It's Luigi! And the next boss fight is just a giant magic Koopa. Whether it is sex or video games, always play safe. Nah, sometimes you gotta risk it, you know? Risk it for the biscuit. So... Nope. Oh, whoa, look, we've made it to Bowser's castle. Wait, no, his villa? Okay, Bowser, showing off over here. Now, if you thought these levels are going to be a combination of everything we've done so far, then you are absolutely correct. We got side scrollers, we got rotation levels, we got vertical side scrollers, we got darkness levels, we got underwater levels, more underwater levels, more rotation block levels, even more underwater levels, and even more rotation block levels. And don't forget the most fun gameplay of all the fucking Lost Woods, baby! Woohoo! But don't you worry, because the last level ends with even more. More lost fucking woods content! Fuck yeah, baby! Now finally we can make it to Bowser. It all led up to this very moment. Right after this minigame, of course. And the second minigame, of course. Then we ascend into the heavens and find Bowser. There he is, look at him in all his might and glory. I literally don't do any damage. Aha! I've done damage! Ow. He throws big hammers. <laughs> Why is he going that way? Oh, I knew it! He's happy! Look at Happy Bow Wow! Oh my god, he's so cute when he cries! Okay, um... Oh. My. God. He's no longer cute when he cries. It's fine. Let's go, chat! And here, the story ends. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not go. Let's not go yet, chat. Let's not go yet. Hold on. Yeah, that wasn't the case. Bowser becomes Mega Bowser and becomes absolutely unbeatable. Unless you throw the bombs that he spawned in for you directly into his face. Throw it! Thank you. Okay, come on. I don't have... I don't have... I don't have fire. Oh my god. I actually got rid of it. So with that big boy now beaten, we see the final cutscene of the game. Get the guy out of here, dude. Yeet him! Nice shot! Now, it's time to find out what this game was truly all about. Where no one knows who created the Vibe Scepter. But somewhere, someone might be using it right now. What? Your dad got angry at you the other day? Your mom's been laughing happily a lot? Maybe, just maybe. The Vibe Scepter is hidden away in your house somewhere. Yep. We beat the game. We beat the game. We beat the game. We beat the game. 
we beat the game. We beat the game.